What's up, everybody? Go Burns here. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Not much going on, so I thought I'd go and uh, look up some uh, GTA articles. And this one I actually came across a few days ago. It's from uh, GameSpot and uh, Carolyn Pettit. And if you don't know Carolyn Pettit, she is the GameSpot reviewer for uh, Grand Theft Auto V. And she gave it a good score. She gave it a 9 back when it came out in September 2013. Of course, a lot of people weren't happy with that score. And that's kind of understandable concerning GameSpot's track record because another reviewer on GameSpot, I don't know if he's, he's there anymore, probably not, he gave Grand Theft Auto 4 a 10.0. And the truth is, in my opinion, from playing both games, I do believe that Grand Theft Auto 5 is a much better game than Grand Theft Auto 4. But everyone's entitled to their opinion, including Carolyn Pettit. But I wanted to read you uh, excerpts from her article. And it's a pretty long read. It's not a novel, but, you know, there's a few paragraphs. And if you're interested, go read it yourself. And it's titled, What We'd Like to See in the Next Grand Theft Auto. And it's more or less what she'd like to see. And like I said, I got it posted below in the description section if you want to go read the article for yourself. Quote, unquote, the last time Grand Theft Auto made the leap from one generation to the next, Rockstar took the opportunity to shift the franchise's focus, moving away from some of the zanier aspects present in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It wasn't to everyone's liking, but she appreciated the change. And she felt like the Saints Row series had the wacky open-world crime game covered and was glad that GTA was moving in somewhat different territory. Okay, so uh, Carolyn Pettit when it comes to Grand Theft Auto 4 is one of the, f I guess, the few that feel that way about Grand Theft Auto 4. A lot of people didn't like the fact that it had such a, a serious tone, that it was so gritty, but, but Carolyn and a few others actually liked that aspect of GTA 4. I, I personally thought that there could have been a bit more humorous scenes, and I think that's a big reason why people liked Ballad of Gay Tony so much, because it kind of brought that aspect back for Grand Theft Auto. It, it made it a little bit more fun than... But I mean, I'm not saying that Grand Theft Auto 4 and Lost of the Damned weren't fun. It's just that they they, just had the, they, were, they felt too real, too gritty for a video game. So a few things that she wants, but like I said, if you want to go read her article, you can do so yourself. But I'm just... I got the uh, excerpts here I wrote down. All right, so she liked GTA 4's grittier feel over past GTA games. And she wants future GTA games to be deeper, not bigger. And what she means by that is she sees how big uh, GTA 5 is, you know, size-wise. It's the largest map ever created by Rockstar. Larger than Grand Theft Auto 4, larger than Red Dead Redemption. And she thinks that the focus on the future Grand Theft Auto game should be, like, deeper, as in, you know, more character-driven. That, that should be the focus. And, of course, she wants at least one of the future protagonists to be a woman. I guess if they keep the same uh, style that they did in GTA V with the three protagonist options where you switch between them, I think she wants one of those future ones to be a woman. Now, I personally don't have a problem with that. We'll talk about that in a moment. Moving on. She also wants GTA to be uh, daring again and not double downing on the crude humor and excessive violence and move into more of an intimate direction. Now, see, that is the theme of Grand Theft Auto, the series itself, with the exception of Grand Theft Auto 4, is it's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be kind of, not, not as over the top as Saints Row, but there's supposed to be some humor there. There's supposed to be some satire. And yes, there's, there's excessive violence. It's, it's Grand Theft Auto. From the very first game that came out in the 90s, the top-down game, to Grand Theft Auto 2 and, you know, 3 and Vice City, San Andreas, even 4, despite how gritty and realistic it felt, it still had plenty of violence to go in it. She also wants characters to be complex, you know, giving you a more uh, 3D persona. And I agree with that. I, I like the idea of, of characters in any video game or any movie to be very complex and, and to where you can relate to them, to where they're not simply one-dimensional. You know, believability, she says, has been sacrificed for crude humor, you know, as in, you know, the billboards you see and the TV shows, radio stations, etc. But that that's part of Grand Theft Auto history. That's part of what makes the Grand Theft Auto world enjoyable, I think. It's 
you know, just one aspect that she wants changed, and once again, I, I completely disagree with that. I'll, I'll break down my points in a moment. And she doesn't like the fact that the uh, humor of the series is basically feeling tired and predictable. I don't feel that way. I mean, yeah, I mean, after a while, you know, you watch season after season of a show like South Park, and, and there's some common themes, but I still find humor in it. The same thing goes for the Grand Theft Auto series. It's just the kind of humor you expect from those writers and from the creators of Grand Theft Auto. She goes on and she says, Grand Theft Auto V's attempt at lampooning American culture and social media weren't so much insightful and biting as they were just plain bitter and misanthropic. Now, once again, I disagree because, well, ever since I would say Grand Theft Auto III, they've been focusing on a lot of satire when it comes to Americana. And Grand Theft Auto III, of course, was the early 2000s. Vice City was set in the 80s. San Andreas set in the 90s. And there was even a little bit of that in Grand Theft Auto 4. Obviously, they played that down. But still, I think that that's a very vital part of the Grand Theft Auto world. And uh, she wants the series to set its sights on another era. You know, kind of like uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City or San Andreas. But instead of uh, the, the neon and all that uh, Scarface type Vice City, she wants something a little bit uh, bleaker. And she talks about Ronald Reagan and whatnot. I would say that if they were to go back and, and do a Grand Theft Auto set in the past, they've already been to the 80s in the Grand Theft Auto world. I want them to go back to like the, the 60s and 70s. That's where I want them to go. Now, a lot of people might be saying, oh, I want them to go back to the 30s, to the time of the, of the, the mob and you know the Prohibition era. I, I don't really want to see that because Mafia has kind of got that covered. You know, Mafia... You know, the Godfather movies. So I don't really want want them to go there. Well, I mean, Godfather did do the 70s as well. So, But at the same time, I don't know if there's really been um, an open world game that has really gone into the, the 60s, 70s, and given us a vibe of what that was like. So yeah, I would like to see a future Grand Theft Auto game that, that went into that era. But I think we've already been to the 80s. I mean... I don't know, one day we may go back, <laughs> but <laughs> all that we end up with is a bunch of lies, the false promises of hoverboards and flying cars and power laces. So she wants realism and grittiness over satire and fun, but the point of Grand Theft Auto is that it's a video game. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. Why else would you play a video game if you're not having a good time? That, see, that part doesn't make sense to me. So there's some things I agree with that Carolyn said. There's some things I obviously disagree with. I think that we could have a female protagonist in a future GTA game. And hopefully the uh, writers will do her justice and make her likable and whatnot. Make, make it to where she actually fits in that world that she exists in. And it can be done. But you gotta do it right, and the same thing goes for you know character complexity and and having it deep and where you actually felt a connection with these people. But at the same time, it's a balancing act. You have to have the humor, you have to have the satire, and you have to have a little bit of grittiness. You have to have a little bit of violence. You have to have all these things. You can't just go one way or the other in order to make it work. Because if you go too funny, too over the top, obviously, like she said, that's Saints Row now. That's where Saints Row exists. But at the same time, Grand Theft Auto can still be fun. It can still be enjoyable, and you can still get a good laugh while playing Grand Theft Auto Online. So I think that Grand Theft Auto doesn't have to be dark. It doesn't have to be you know, gritty. It doesn't have to be like it was in GTA 4. And I think that Rockstar is not going to do that again because a lot of people, even though it was a beautiful game, it, it, that, that vibe and feel a lot of people just didn't really care for. Now, I realize that I'm not speaking for everybody. But at the same time, that, that's what I got from everybody. Most of the people out there that played Grand Theft Auto 4, they enjoyed playing it, but at the same time, it just it felt different than the other Grand Theft Auto games. And the truth is, in my opinion, from playing all of them from the very beginning, GTA, GTA 2, 3, Vice City, San Andreas, 4, 5, and also played Liberty City Stories, um, yeah, I feel like that GTA 5 is a step back into the world of Grand Theft Auto 
more true to the series itself than Grand Theft Auto 4 was. But what do you feel? What do you think? Do you believe that we're going to have a future female protagonist? Do you think that this is the direction that a uh, future uh, GTA game is going to go? Is it going to be more like GTA 4? Or are they going to keep the formula that they rebuilt for uh, Grand Theft Auto 5? Is it even going to be a single player game? Because I think, and this is my personal opinion, but you look at how so many other series out there are going in this direction, I think that the next Grand Theft Auto game is going to be an actual straight up online game, which I call you know, GTA World. We'll just call it that. And I've talked about this in a previous upload. But the point is, I think there'll be several cities. You'll start in one of the cities, either Los Santos or... Um, uh, Liberty City, Las Venturas, San Fierro, Vice City, maybe even you can go into uh, North Yankton, and maybe there's one or two, but you would you would start in that city, you'd be able to customize your character, and your character would be very similar to how your GTA character is, or Claude in GTA 3, they wouldn't talk. It would be entirely how you perceive that character to be, whether you want that character to be a guy, you want that character to be a girl, you want that character to be a trans woman, uh, whatever. It's going to be how you want that character to be, and you just go and do the stories, do missions, do races, do death matches, and the further along you get, the higher up you get in the rank, more uh, locations unlock for you. Say you start in Liberty City, and you can only play in Liberty City until you get to a certain rank, or you, you unlock a certain missions, then you get to go to Vice City, then you get to go out to San Andreas, or North Yankton, or new locations. All right, that's just the way I see it going. I saw... Like uh, the multiplayer for what Red Dead Redemption, for GTA 4, for Max Payne the Third, and most recently Grand Theft Auto Online, as a test bed for Rockstar. They're testing the MMO world. They're tweaking it. They're fine tuning it. They're seeing what works. They're seeing what doesn't work. And I think eventually that's where it's going to go towards you know a GTA world type game where you have numerous locations you can go and and a whole bunch of different types of jobs, missions, races, death matches, etc. But that's just my opinion. What I want to know is your opinion, since you decided to stick around this long, 12 plus minutes. Wow. Long time. Anyways, what is your opinion? Do you think that a future Grand Theft Auto is going to be more like GTA 5, or is it going to be more like GTA 4? Or is it going to be, like I said, a, a straight up MMO type game? Or is it going to be something completely different uh, share your thoughts and opinions below in the comments section. If you found this video informative and enjoyable, please hit the like button. I post GTA Online content daily. That's right, seven days a week. I even post uh, multiple stuff each day, two or three sometimes. And uh, yeah, you can help me grow by subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching.